Hi family, we are back together again. Now in the last note, in the last note, I had spoken about wrecking the nest. For those of you who do have the publication on page 141, um, I'd like you to go over there if you, if you haven't reached there. On the section, called to be an eagle, I want to share that with you friends. And there's a poem that I've written that just so fits in. If you remember the parable of the emperor moth, you know that I view this experience as one that will give me my wings. God has given me a vision in my heart and told me to tarry. It will not fail. Habakkuk 2, 2 and 3 says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables, that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So then I say, while I am waiting, God has been strengthening my wings. I know that he wants me to fly a higher pitch. He said that those who wait on him would mount up his wings as eagles. That's Isaiah 40, 31. I love the image of the eagle and all that it symbolizes. Now, last time we were talking about the eagle pushing the little, stirring up the nest and probably pushing the little e the, the eagle out. And the poor little bird frightened as ever. Sometimes we can be little frightened eaglets. Huh? I close our journey at this point with, my, with one of my creations. It's, that on, it's entitled On the Wings of an Eagle. Boldly stepping out into space, though no track I could trace, faith told me, to keep a steady upward look. <clears throat> no wavering such an experience could brook. Any downward look my flight would impede. To remain focused would be my greatest need. My father's plan I, I didn't stop to ponder or set my heart at his command to wonder. Like the eaglet, my father has shoved me from my comfort zone, in whose warm environs to stay, I'd be prone. My God knew my heart's hidden frustration and spiritual desperation for more excitement and exhilaration. Oopsie. Right, okay. He knew I was sick of scratching dust at the mountain's foot, scratching in spiritual dust at the mountain's foot, drinking at a miserly brook, rubbing shoulders with those happy and contented with their meager fear, thinking that their spiritual cramps were me beyond compare. Casting my eyes to the mountain summit, I declined a scent for fear I would plummet, but in a chick's body, God placed an eagle's heart. To sit in spiritual apathy would cause this heart to burst apart. So, on wings, my God challenged me to soar, rising higher and still higher above earth's noisy roar. Those at the mountain foot may wait to hear a resounding crash, while higher up in the mountain, in heavenly streams, I delightedly play and splash. As my fledgling wings flapped, flap to keep me airborne, my God swoops down and spreads himself beneath me, assuring me of continuous help from the throne. Gliding now on columns of thermal air, no stress, no fear, no fret. I am flying at altitudes of dizzying heights, God having opened a Panoramic view to my spiritual sight, to my spiritual insight. Like the majestic eagle, I am experiencing the ecstasy of free fall, the thrill of swooping adventurously through heaven's halls. Oh, I am supremely glad I answered heaven's call. And the text here. As an eagle stirs up her nest, flutters over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them. 
be bear with them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead her, and there was no strange God with her. And he made her to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. And I said here, I changed the pronouns to be gender inclusive. God has a wonderful plan for each of us. And it is so important that we understand the principle that God does not harm us. Yes, some things may, sometimes we do have to be pushed out of comfort zone so that we can walk in our purpose. We can live our destiny. And this is not all mumbo jumbo talk. It is so very, very true. God bless you. And I still have the hollow in the flame to tell you about. So please come back. God bless.